tip-off as we can see the starters for both teams our officials of course will be um, Mr. Chow, Mr. Fong, and uh, Mr. Wing. They are all from Macau international referees. And you can see the starters there for Barangay Hilemos and Miguel. This is the first time we're going to get to see RJ Aparientos, who was the uh, third overall pick in the recently concluded 2024 PBA draft. He was also acquired uh, technically in that trade for Christian Stan Hardinger as the uh, Terraforma pick of number three went to them. Red shirts for Hinebra, yellow shirts for the new Taipei Kings as we are underway. So we are playing 12 minute quarters in this one as RJ Abariento slides in for the first basket of the game for Barangay Hinebra. And for the new Taipei Kings, they do have Supe Kai. He is bringing down the ball. Watch out for their shooters actually on this squad. As one of them, Supe Kai, immediately making his uh, presence felt, tying the game up at two. For the new Taipei Kings, of course, they are the defending champions of the uh, P-League Plus in Taiwan. They were actually the third seed coming into the playoffs with a record of 22 and 18. They were able to win the title by upsetting the uh, Formosa Dreamers. And the second finals as a Stephen Holt, another new acquisition from Barangay Hinebra, formerly of Telefair Majipa, the PBA, getting his first basket of the game. So it is now 4-2 in favor of Hinebra, who have a turnover. Japan Aguilar, the veteran, getting it inside. Isaac Go using the left hand, trying to evade the defense. And here comes Chen Yu Chen. Head to the front court for the yellow shirts of the new Taipei Kings. Just underway, over a minute gone by. Here in the first. We have the snipers of Taiwan. That's what they're known for here. The new Taipei Kings. Chen Yu Chen missing that jumper. Bobby inside. Japan Aguilar, a member of the Philippine national team for several years already. Getting his first basket of the game. Japan Aguilar at the age of 37 is already one of the grizzled veterans of the squad. 6-2 is our score right now. Another unsuccessful effort here for the new Taipei Kings. They're going to swing it over to Ralph Koo, who's going to knock down the three-pointer. Ralph Koo was signed to a one-year contract with Barangay Hinebra, making his presence felt as a sniper. If you guys are looking for former PBA MVP Scotty Thompson, he's actually in the building, but is not going to be playing here tonight. Another miss here for Lin Cheng Pao. As Abarietos tries to turn on the Jets with less than 10 minutes remaining here in the first quarter. 9-2 is our score, Barangay Ginebra. With a 7-point lead. He's swinging around now with the shot clock winding down. 7 to shoot. Isaac Go, he's got this in his arsenal. And he steps back for the second three of the game. So 12-2. A spanking so far being given by the Philippine Basketball Association team against the uh, Taiwan P-League Plus squad with great shooting from the outside and of course the penetrations here and there. Six foot nine, Japan Aguilar getting his basket right there. Ralph Koo, his first attempt was gold as well for Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. And RJ Barrientos with a quick zip. No look pass to George Isaac Go. Six foot five and knock it down from the outside. It's going to be the cheerleader as you can see on the screens now. Isaac Go out of the Ateneo de Manila University in the Philippines, acquired in the trade for Christian Stan Hardinger. As we resume live action here, still 12 to 2 in favor of Barangay Hinebra. This is Sue, top of the key now. Working around to Chen. Sue still has it right now. Shot clock winding down. A bunch of passing here for the new Taipei Kings. They do locate the shooter, but it has not been fruitful for them so far. The miss coming from Chen Chu Nan. Here's Holt getting it over now to Sue once again. That's his first miss of the game. That was for the loose ball picked up by Abarientos. Shot clock reset to 14. Now 10 to shoot for Barangay Ginebra. Ball working with a five second shot clock, looking for a friend. They get it inside. Japan Aguilar on the fall away, off the glass. That doesn't work. Another offensive rebound for the Redshirts. And Isaac Go, three attempts for Barangay in Everson Miguel, but they still get the ball back. Stephen Holt tries his range. And Aguilar is just dominating the boards right now. Holt tries again, same spot. To 
Perfect result this time. Third three-pointer for Barangay Ginebra. It is now a 15-2 lead here in the first quarter. This is now a 13-0 run for Barangay Ginebra. Remember, it was tied at two in the early goings. Coming up on the eight-minute mark here in the first. Still no answer for the uh, new Taipei Kings. And now the Jin Kings are on the run once again. I did not lost the ball, but that's going to be a foul. Our first one in this game. That's going to be whistled on uh, Chen Chun Nan. Our first sub is well coming in for the new Taipei Kings. Uh, Kings we're going to see Shu Te Chi. There's still no Kiwi Gardner on the floor. Seven fifty-seven to play here in the first. If you want to get the score correctly, folks. It is fifteen to two for Hinebra. Can they add to that? Holt comes up short. The Kings, of course, if you're just joining us, playing with the Lin brothers, Jeremy Lin and Joseph Lin, are in the United States resting before the start of the season. Still nothing from beyond the arc. That is zero for five from three-point range for the yellow shirts of the new Taipei Kings. Here's Holt wanting the baseline. Gets it. Gets it out to Abarientos. Very patient offense and another foul is going to be whistled. This is going to go against Shu. That's going to be the second on the Kings. So we're going to have our first look at Lin Tzu Hao, who was not part of the EASL lineup. For some of these players, of course, it's going to be an audition whether or not they make it to the regular lineup in the P League Plus. Remember, there could be three imports joining them. In fact, they're playing all locals right now. No import on the floor. They only have one. And TV Gardner almost a turnover. Two seconds remaining on the shot clock. And Hineba's not going to get a shot off. Seven minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the first. Still 15 to 2. In favor of Barangay and Everson Miguel from the Philippine Basketball Association in the Philippines. 15 PBA titles across the name of Barangay Inebra. They have not won one this year though. First, uh, last time of course was the 2023 Commissioner's Cup as Japan Aguilar is a rim protector. Shot clock down to five for the yellow shirts. A floater, still nothing. Boy, after making their first attempt, the new Taipei Kings. Oh my goodness, Japan Aguilar didn't need to dribble the ball. And Japan Aguilar makes it a 17 to 2 lead now for Barangay Hinebra. Zipping in the lane, finally an answer after about a, nine, a three minute silence from the new Taipei Kings. That's coming from Chen Chen Nan. So it's now 17 to 4 with 6 and 20 remaining here in the first. Another three pointer. Who has missed his last two? Battle for the loose ball picked up here by the Kings. Here's Shu into the front court, going all the way. Back to back baskets now. The new type of Kings as Shu Ted Chi is able to score. Halfway mark now of the first. We are playing 12 minute quarters here in Macau. New center post try to read this 2 1 2 zone defense of the Kings, forcing an effort to shoot from the outside. Stephen Holt with yet another offensive rebound. Isaac go left open. His attempt from straight away is in and out. Lim Chin Pang. Now with a shoe. Shu has been able to penetrate the defense here of Barangay Never as they go to a 2-3 zone defense. Shot clock down to 10. Floater. Unorthodox but effective for Chen Chin Nan. Just flip that hand over Japan Aguilar's timing and defense. Talking about Aguilar completely thrown off so a little bit of a fight back here it's down to single figure 17 to 8. who going cross court catch and shoot this time for isaac goal that's his second three of the game 20 to 8 barangay never now back up by 12. another five minutes remaining here in the first once again you are watching the macau Wu's international basketball club challenge a productive effort once again here for the new Taipei Kings. Hope to Aguilar on the give and go. 
Packers. Stephen Holt, the new acquisition, the former number one overall pick in the 2023 PBA draft. Making it a 22 to 8 lead for Barangay Ginebra. Finally, a three drops for the Kings, and that is from Lim Zhu Hao coming off the bench. We do have some subs at the sideline coming in for Barangay Ginebra. Approaching the four minute mark here in the first. Holt, good head fake, dropping it over to Ku. And from up close, he can't score. And to the front court now, Lin. Almost losing it to Abarientas. They kick it out, three-pointer once again, and now it's starting to draw for the Kings. Si Te Chi. His first connection from distance. Three and 36 remaining here in the first. Suddenly, Hinebra's guns have become silent. Abarientos still can't answer. Aguilar was the last to score, and he scores again. And one opportunity for the former Western Kentucky player. Yeah, this guy is six foot nine. As we have a subs coming in for both teams, Kiwi Gardner making his first appearance for the new Taipei Kings. And for Barangay Hinebra, the newly acquired Ben Adamos. Also came in a trade with a team in the PBA called North Fork Batam Pier for Sidney on Bubere and the captain, L.A. Tenorio. They call him the Tiniente in the Philippines, making his first appearance. Five foot nine has been playing in the PBA since 2006. Talking about Luis Alfred Tenorio. Japheth Aguilar, actually second generation player talking about Japheth Aguilar. His father played in the PBA before him. Aguilar makes it now 25 to 14 lead for Barangay Ginebra San Miguel. Approaching three minutes to go here in the first. Coming off the bench and firing immediately. That is Chen Yu Che. Here's Tenorio into the front court. Attracting a double team. They got two point guards now. Barangay Ginebra. Hold tries again. Again, Barangay Ginebra starting to fall a little silent in terms of their outside shooting. Stark contrast, the new Taipei Kings have started to connect from the outside. How about that? Instant offense coming off the bench for Pee Wee Gardner. So Gardner now cuts the lead down to eight, and Coach Tim Cohn of Barangay Hinebra will sue for time. And once again, we welcome you back to the uh, Tap Sayak Sports Pavilion in Macau. This is the Macau Wu's International Basketball Club Challenge. My name is Noel Zarate. Broadcasting live from the venue as Barangay Nebra tries to pick up the pieces here. Ben Adamos, he's really known for his outside shooting, but he comes up empty. That's off a timeout as well from Coach Tim Cohn. Transition three offline. Abarientos with the rebound, and we're going to have a foul called on Kiwi Gardner. That's the third on the new Taipei Kings. Kiwi Gardner is his second foray into Asia, by the way. He did play, as I mentioned earlier, for the West Sports Malaysia Dragons in the 2017 ASEAN Basketball League season. Here's Stephen Holt. Tenorio, they're, good. they're running the triangle once again. Coach Tim Cohn was successful with this international competition, but Tenorio gets stripped, and no more dribbling required there for Shu Te Chi. Kings have cut this down to six from a high of 14. Tenorio momentarily open, and Damos once again trying, still failing. Down for the rebound, Abarientos dropping it over to Javier Aguilar. Under two minutes remaining here in the first. Hinebra once again on top by eight. Gardner bothered by the defense of Amarientos. Tenorio wanting to set it up. Another give and go attempt, but good roll by the Yellow Shirts. And to the front court, this is going to be an end one opportunity for Lin Tzu Hao. One of the Kings had a diesel start talking about the new Taipei Kings. But they're coming back strong here, cutting it down to six, possibly even five. And for Barangay Ginebra, Paul Garcia making his first appearance in the game. Former uh, Salisbury University Seagull player. 
Isaac Go will also return to spell Japan Aguilar with a minute and 26 remaining here in the first. So Ninsu Hao at the free throw line. That is our score, 27-26. Our time is 126 remaining. And he does cut it down to five. You can see the team foul situation there. Only one for Barangay Nebra. Three for the new Taipei Kings. Adamos taken away once again. It's the defense that's getting it done here for the new Taipei Kings. And another easy layup for Su Te Chi. And Tim Cohn's going to run out of timeouts here in the first half. As he is forced to use a second. It's still a minute and four remaining in the first quarter. The new Taipei Kings have cut it down to four, 27-23. Still in favor of Barangay in Ebra San Miguel. Quarter in a game that looked like it was going to be a blowout for Barangay in Ebra when they led by as much as 14 points. But here come the new Taipei Kings. We adjust the score. It's 27 to 24. Just a single possession lead for Barangay in Ebra. Tenorio double teamed outside. Here comes Garcia. Going back to Tudora, trying to drop it off once again. Red roll by Kiwi. And another foul on Barangay Hinebra. That's going to go on Isaac. Go. So no free throws coming up. It's just the second team foul for Barangay Hinebra. It was not a breakaway foul. 46 seconds to go here in the first. New Taipei Kings can tie it up with a three, and they've already hit two of them here. And they add another one. This is going to be a long two with an air ball result, though, coming from Chen Yu Che. So the five on the floor for Hinebra, Holt, Tenorio, Garcia, Isaac Go, and the Ben Adamas. That's actually a pretty big lineup. And the front line for Barangay Hinebra. Here's Holt. Tenorio has not attempted yet today. He will attempt his first shot. Can't get it to go. Holt! Go! Finally! 29-24 in Ebro. Last shot time here for the new Type 8 Kings if they want it. Fall away! And that's how our first period is going to come to a close. What started out as a blowout for Barangay Hinebra has now been reduced to just a five-point lead. 29-24 at the end of the first 12 minutes of action. Second quarter happens when we return. In our venue, and a few people are still lining up outside to witness this matchup in the Macau Wu's International Basketball Club Challenge between the new Taipei Kings from the uh, Taiwan Pili Plus going up against Barangay Hinebra San Miguel of the Philippine Basketball Association. My name is Noel Zarate. And the uh, synopsis so far, Barangay Hinebra went on a 13 to nothing run after the score was tied at two apiece and had a lead of as much as 14 points, but then the new Taipei Kings started to inch back in terms of their defense as well. Cut it down to three at one point. It is now five heading in to the second. Kiwi Gardner came off the bench of this one. Great defense there by Paul Garcia to deny him and take the ball away. Once again, we are playing 12-minute quarters here. As Garcia, former point guard actually, when he was still playing college ball in Salisbury University. Here's Ben Adamos getting it out. Tenorio, six on the shot clock. Jumping it over to Garcia. One on the shot clock. Garcia has to let it go. Can't make it. And here come the new Taipei Kings. Su Pei Kai is back in the game. And our, new, our first look now at uh, Chung Li Shang, who's playing for the new Taipei Kings for the first time. Ten on the shot clock. They go out once again. And the three-pointer is a miss from Su Pei Kai. Another attempt, though, inside. And that will work this time for Lin Chin Pang. So again, just a three-point lead for Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. They had a 2-0 lead, it was tied at two, then they went on a 13 to nothing run. And another turnover here on the interception. Boy, Barangay Hinebra San Miguel 
has turned the ball over so many times here in the first half. Unproductive effort though on the fast break, but they still keep it talking about the new Taipei Kings. Gardner swinging it over and from the left flank is tied now with that three pointer from Chen Yu Chen. So the comeback is complete for the Kings. Now the question is can they lead? First, they need to stop here. Obviously, uh, never offensive thrust. LA Tenorio getting it outside. Paul Garcia straight away. A chance now to grab their first lead of the game. Gardner zipping it inside to Chung. Another three. This time it's a miss coming from Chen. Tenorio sets the table now. Just under 10 minutes remaining here in this second quarter. And that's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by uh, Chung Li Shang. As we have Japan Aguilar coming back into the game with Ralph Ku. So two starters in. But now our third point guard coming in for Barangay Nebra San Miguel. This is a... Uh, Red jersey number 10, there he is, Darts Pinto, formerly of the College of St. Benil's in the Philippines. Gardner is going to take a breather as well. So Gardner has really sparked the comeback here for the new Taipei Kings. So back in the game is a Shute Chi, has uh, made a good account of himself for, so far. This is Von Casumal seeing his first action of the game. So there are two shooters now for Barangay Hinebra San Miguel, talking about Ku and Von Casumal who had a three earlier, they zip it around. Three-pointer on its way, that is short. Coming from Garcia, now small ball being played here by Hineba, who is now uh, playing the fourth spot. And the fast break is successful for Su Pei Kai. So now the lead belongs to the new Taipei Kings. Their first lead of the game, coming back from 14 points down successfully. Here's Pinto. Good swinging action, and this is Pesumal. He's known for that, not there. And Aguilar is blocked and fouled. That's going to be against Chung. Take a look at this one again. Japan Aguilar again unmolested in the rebound struggle. Abarientos will return for Barangay Ginebra. As Paul Garcia hardly broke a sweat. And his time on the floor, back to the bench. 31-29, you Taipei Kings, if you're just joining us again, Hinebra was up by as much as 14 in the first quarter. That's all gone now. But Aguilar can tie the game. He's two for two from the line. We got three of three from the free throw line. Japan Aguilar. Formerly of the Ateneo de Manila University before going to the United States to play for Western Kentucky. Fast break. Three is gone. Coming from Su Techi. And this is what we were talking about at the top of the coverage. The shooting of the new Taipei Kings. That's what they're known for. Whether or not they have a Joseph Lin or a Jeremy Lin in their lineup. They get it out to Pesumal. That's what he's known for as well. Finally, a three for Hinebra after a long drought. Kings still up, New Taipei Kings rather. Still up here by one. As we come up on eight minutes remaining here in the second, Aguilar. See who they give the foul to here because it looks like Japan Aguilar got it clean upstairs. They will give it to Japan. It's going to be his first. 8.08 remaining here in the uh, second quarter. You can uh, see there that is Lin Cheng Yu, who's uh, the interim coach right now in the absence of Ryan Marchand. As a Su Te Chi, as we mentioned earlier, is not part of the EASL lineup, but has been doing wonders in terms of the offense here for the Kings. 35 to 33. 808 to play here in the second. It's mostly a Filipino crowd that is gathered here. That's going to be a lane violation against the Barangay Hinebra as we take a look at that last Vaughn Pesumal three. 
to keep it close. Full court press now being shown by the new Taipei Kings. 36 to 35 is our score. Almost another turnover. Aparientos looking down, Aguilar on the spin. Gets doubled inside, oh nobody marking Ralph Koo. That's gonna be the easiest basket he's gonna get all night. 36-35, Kings lead down to just one. Moving around once again to Sue. Trying to create space. Oh, Sue doing a Pinoy step of his own. Able to evade the defense and finishing with the left hand. 38-35. Seven and 20 remaining in the second. Lob pass inside the Gilar. That's easy. Again, the uh, Barangay Hinebra team out. Well, they are the taller team now. But in terms of the hustle, boy, you got to give it to the new Taipei Kings at this point. They have forced several turnovers after being down double digits as Stephen Holt returns for Narge Pinto. And Stephen Holt, as we mentioned earlier, acquired in a trade and also brought in Isaac Go and uh, RJ Abarietas. There were draft rights to RJ Abarietas. It was the third overall pick. Another turnover! Boy, Tim Cohn is going to get a lot of white here at the end of this game. And that is going to be turnover point for Chen Chun Nan. Less than seven minutes to go here in the second. Full court pressure still being applied. Kasumal missing it short. A chance to get their biggest lead of the game, but they rushed it. And Sue could not finish. That was actually a good idea by Shi Te Chi to get it to Sue Pei Kai. To no avail. Six and 40 remaining here in the second. Barangay Hineba scored 29 first quarter points. Catch and shoot for two. That's going to be a whistle and acknowledging the foul, it will be Sue or shoot at Chi. That's going to be his second. And the second team foul now for the Kings. First foul. Second personal foul. We see this one again. Flying out of the frame that time, Javid Aguilar. Well, of course, you're giving up about almost a foot. Abarientos, two. Good ball movement once again for Barangay Never. Shot clock down to seven, though. Ralph Kuhn is having problems with his offense. We approach the six minute mark here in the second. New Taipei Kings 40. And again, never send Miguel 37. Three pointer on its way. Quick release. Not there. Stephen Holt with yet another rebound. Holt could be close to 10 rebounds already in this game for Barangay Nebra. That foul is going to go against Lin Chin Pang. 13 foul now for the New Taipei Kings. Now, the Yellow Shirts have been successful with their ground defense. In fact, they've been forcing a lot of turnovers on the passes and on the dribbles. But when it comes to the rebounding, of course, Barangay Nebra has their number. Another quick ball movement here, Stephen Holt! That's a three-pointer! That's going to be second three in the game, and he ties the score at 40. Oh, that is an unforced turnover there for the new Taipei Kings. Lin Chin Pan did not know who to pass the ball to. An opportunity to regain the lead. For Barangay Hinebra, as we mentioned earlier, 15 PBA titles, but none so far in 2024. Aguilar looking for a foul that time. Pass inside, broken up by Japheth once again. 19 seconds to shoot for the new Taipei Kings, who have already confirmed that they are joining the East Asia Super League once again. Of course, being the defending champions of the uh, Taiwan B League Plus. Uh, the uh, New Taipei Kings, of course, pretty much a new team. Barangay Hinebra joined the PBA in 1979 as Gilby's Jin. They only joined the uh, Taiwan P-League in 2021. And already, they have claimed the championship. Air ball, shot clock did not reset. There's that awkward release once again coming from Lin Chin Pang. Holt leading the break. And a good preemptive foul given up by Chen Chun Nan. Although, that will be team foul number four for the New Taipei Kings. We see it again. Seven, 
Once again, you are watching the Macau Roos International Basketball Club Challenge. Another turnover against Hinebra and another fast break opportunity that cannot be converted this time. Series of fakes, Sue could not break loose. Here's Kuhn into the front court. RJ Abarientos, quick ball moving out to Volta Sumal on the right side, getting it out to RJ once again. RJ losing it again. How many turnovers for Barangay Nebra and some razzle dazzle there as Lynn finds Chin on the fast break. Behind the back pass. Need going back to the Kings, New Taipei Kings. 42 to 40, Pesumal hit a three earlier. He is one for four from beyond the arc. Rebound picked up by Chen. Kings pushing once again. And another fast break make. This time from Lin Chen Pang. Coach Tim Kong being very patient. With regards to the personnel on the floor for Barangay Hinebra as we uh, approach the four minute mark. Holt still can't get it. Sue into the front court. Tim Cohn is out of timeouts, by the way. Going to be a foul here called on uh, Stephen Holt. He regards the returns now for the new Taipei Kings. And for Barangay Never San Miguel, it's going to be Isaac Go returning. And we're going to have our first look now at Jason David. Six foot two, free agent signed recently by Barangay Nebra. Under four minutes to play in the first half. Gardner, when he came in off the bench, good things happened for the new Taipei Kings, especially in terms of their defense. Never swinging the ball around, looking for an opening. They get it to Aparientas, extra pass outside. Who hesitating? Now they go back to Aparientas in the outside. Now it is four seconds to shoot. Isaac go on the turnaround. No. Rebound picked up by Chung. And once again, early offense on the, on the attack there coming from Shu Te Chi. Just couldn't make the layup. Steven Holt. And Jason David is bumped by Chung. That's going to be his second. And it's going to be penalty situation now against the new Taipei Kings. He's going to bring uh, Jason David to the free throw line. Again, if you're looking for players like Scotty Thompson, he is actually in attendance here today, but he is not in uniform. For Barangay he never San Miguel, of course, Justin Brownlee, if you're looking for him, the resident import, he's in Indonesia actually right now, for an ongoing league. But this is the first dry run for Barangay Hinebra with their new moving pieces. And almost an offensive rebound there coming from David off the missed free throw. alley -oop play, and again now... The new Taipei Kings are missing some point blank shots. That's the third layup they've missed in this period. With less than three minutes remaining in the first half. David getting it inside to Isaac Gaul. Muscles his way in and lost the ball again. Outlet pass, fast break, touchdown for the new Taipei Kings as Lin Tzu Hao gives them a five point lead representing the largest in the game for the gentleman from Taiwan. 46-41. Turnaround. Abarientos gets it to go. And it looks like there's going to be a foul away from play. So do they count the basket of Abarientos? No signal has been made yet, though. They count it. So they count the basket. And it's going to be a foul on Barangay Hinebra. That will go against Isaac Go. That's a second. As Paul Garcia comes back in for Ralph Koo. 2 and 24 remaining here in the first half. Again, if you're just joining us, Barangay Hinebra enjoyed a 29 to 24 lead at the end of the first quarter, but they led by as much as 14 points in that first quarter, courtesy of a 13 to nothing run 
at one point, but then Kiwi Gardner came into the game. The defense intensified for the new Taipei Kings, and here we are. The Kings now up by three, as Barangay Neva is now struggling with their offense. Nine on the shot clock. Jumper, that's a miss coming from Shu Techu. The big getting it now, Stephen Holt. Paul Garcia. Dangerous pass, and that's going to put Holt at the free throw line as the steal attempt by Chen went awry. Now the problem for Chen Chun Nan is that's his third foul. And that's going to be something that concerns Lin Cheng Yu, the interim head coach for the Kings. Looks like he has signaled for a timeout if Holt makes the second free throw. Stephen Holt. As we mentioned earlier, the number one overall pick in the 2023 PBA draft now acquired by Barangay Ginebra. And it is going to be a timeout for the new Taipei Kings. They are hanging on to a two-point lead, 46 to 44. And the new Taipei Kings playing with only one import. Remember, during the EASL playoffs, they paraded a bunch of them, including Hayden Blankley, Kenny Manigold, Quincy Davis III, of course, is a naturalized player of Taiwan, but he was in their lineup there as well. Taipei trying to add to this one-point lead. Three-pointer is a miss. Gardner boxing out, but couldn't get the rebound. Now, Barrientos, this is going to be an interesting matchup between him and Kiwi Gardner. Holt getting it across just in time. Catch and shoot, Paul Garcia. Offensive rebound cleared here by Isaac Gall. Oh, and another turnover as Goh took his eye off the ball. Tim Cohn still encouraging the boys, but you can expect a tongue lashing at the uh, end of this half once they go into the locker room. By my unofficial count, that's already 14 turnovers by Barangay and Evra. I could be wrong, we can, we can double check that, but it's a lot. Cost them the lead. Now the new Taipei Kings trying to execute with a bunch of picks, trying to free up their shooters once again. Shot clock down to six. This offense is going nowhere. They got to put it up. Two seconds, one second. They do not get it off. And that's going to be a shot clock violation on the new Taipei Kings. And now Barangay Hinebra is turning the tide. They are the ones now trying to press the issue in terms of defense. Still 50 seconds remaining, 50 and change remaining here in the first half. Full court press once again as they pick up Aparientos from 94 feet away. Aparientos successfully getting it across, but they wasted a bunch of seconds trying to do that. They now have the shot clock at 10. Play just developing now for Barangay Hinebra as David lost it. And it's going to be last touch against Taipei. Coming back in the game is Lin Chin Pang. And we notice here for uh, Coach Lin Cheng Yu, his rotation has involved only eight or nine players. Shot clock at seven for Hinebra. Abarientos catch and shoot from the corner. The outside shooting has not been effective for Hinebra. And nobody helping uh, Chung Li Shang get possession and he lost the ball which now resets the shot clock for Hinebra at 14. exactly 25 seconds so an 11 second difference between the clocks rj abarientas of course played in the korean basketball league and he was their rookie of the year in 2023 they moved over to the shinshu brave warriors in the uh Japan B League before declaring for the PBA draft and he was drafted number three overall by Barangay Hinebra just a few weeks back. Abarietos will try to trigger it in. Gets it over now to Garcia and it's gonna be tapped out as well. Once again, Tim Cohn has used up all his timeouts in the first quarter. Taipei actually still has one more if they get the ball back. Here's Holt. Garcia. Shot clock at six. 
They get it out. Abarientos. Yes. RJ Abarientos bails out. He never with that three and no. He never has the lead, but still a chance to reclaim it. Kiwi Gardner on the penetration. And a wild shot almost goes in. But Barangay Inebra will be very happy to take a two-point lead into the halftime break. 48 to 46, a very spirited comeback by the new Type Bay Kings. We even picked up a five-point lead along the way after being down by as much as 14. And we will have our third period in just a bit, folks. Once again at the half here at the Tap Sayak Sports Pavilion in Macau. It is Barangay Ginebra 48 and the new Type Bay Kings 46. have been contributing, talking about Isaac Cross, Stephen Holt, and RJ Abarientos. Well, of course, for the new type of Kings, it is a Sun Tin Chi, who is their leading sport. He's actually got a game high 14 at this point. And they are still going without Kiwi Gardner in the starting lineup, going all local, as we open our third quarter of play. Once again, for Barangay Ginebra San Miguel, the PBA season opens in August. And for the new Taipei Kings, also in a couple of weeks, or in a few weeks as well, as RJ Mariano is over to scoring here in the third quarter for that floater. 50 to 46 for Barangay Hidembra San Miguel. Coach Tim Cohn re employing the same starting lineup that got him that 14 point lead in the first quarter. Shot clock down to nine. Play slowly developing, but a little too slow this time. They only got two on the shot clock, and that is jacked up, but it's still good. Coming from Su Pei Kai. And for Su Pei Kai, he's got six in the game. Isaac Raw, Javid Aguilar. Quick ball movement once again. Hold a little gun shy. They get it out to Ralph Koo. Aguilar with another offensive rebound. Aguilar is just a man of all boys down there at six foot nine. 
He'll earn another trip to the free throw line. So for Jeff Aguilar, he has been playing in the PBA for a very long time. Found his way to Barangay Ginebra. Of course, eventually, and we did mention his father, Peter Aguilar, also played in the PBA before him. Second generation. And he has really improved on his free throw shooting. He is now almost automatic from the free throw line. Now up to 13 points, a team high score for the former Western Kentucky player. Chapin Aguilar knocks down both, making it now a four point lead, 52 to 48. Just over a minute gone by here in the third. The Taipei Kings, of course, parading only one import. He's not even a starter. Talking about Kiwi Gardner. Jumper is a miss. And a quick second attempt from the outside for Sue. Comes up empty, and that's going to be a foul on Stephen Holt. So for Holt, that is his second. Shot clock will be reset to 14 for the new Taipei Kings. Looking forward to defending their championship in the Taiwan P League Plus when the season opens. Of course, without Joseph Lin, without Jeremy Lin in this lineup, they have been holding their own against one of the most successful franchises in the PBA. And Aguilar did not know where to go. Instead, the ball goes out of bounds. Yet another turnover for Barangay Ginebra San Miguel. But they still have a four point lead, 52 to 48. Here's Singh is the quarterbacking well. One of the seven players from the East Asia Super League lineup playing here today. Triple team on the inside for Chung, but he still scores. Chung Li Shang. Cutting it down to just a two-point lead, a single possession lead, if you will. Stephen Holt, they're sagging on him right now. He does have two three-pointers in this game. It's all Jaffa and Aguilar inside, but that time the, the layup rolls out. Down to 10 minutes to play. Quick offense once again here for the new Taipei Kings. They go inside, left-handed layup. That is good. Coming from Lin Chin Pai. And we are now tied at 52. Here's Stephen Holt. Abarientos scored there earlier. So RJ Abarientos scored from the same spot. And for Abarientos, he's now reached double figures. He's got 11 in the game. Back to a two point lead for Barangay Ginebra. Kings want the lead. Miss from the outside. Abarientos telling everybody to run. Coming up on nine minutes remaining in the third. Almost another takeaway. Law tries to create space. Instead, they move it around to the outside. RJ Marientos is now starting to catch fire. He has scored seven of his 14 points here in the third. And Ebra now up by five. This is a five to nothing run for RJ Marientos all by himself. Marientos once again. Trying to speed things up. Momentarily open. This time decides to take it. And RJ Marientos scores again. Ten points in the third quarter for the rookie from Marangai. He never said Miguel, the former KBL Rookie of the Year, has now given the Filipinos a 60 to 52 lead. And again, it started with this little jumper in the lane, but his range has expanded back to back three pointers for Juan J. Abarietos. With his eight point lead for Barangay Ginebra San Miguel, 60 to 52. Courtesy of RJ Abarieto scoring 10 of his 17 so far in this period. And we're not even a minute and a half in. Kings need an answer quickly. Shot clock down to 10. Fall away. That is good. Coming from Lin Chin Tai. So the veteran delivers, cutting it down to six. As we come up on eight minutes remaining. In the third, Isaac Paul hit a three-pointer earlier as well. In the first quarter, goes for another one here. Comes up empty. 
Uplift pass once again on the break. The Kings attacking and successful again this time. On Chen Yu Chen. So back to back baskets now for the yellow shirts. 60 56. Less than eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. Isaac Gaunt denied that time. Battle for the rebound, now won by the Kings. And they go again inside on the fast break, Chen Chen Nan. So after the timeout by interim coach Lin Cheng Yu, six and answered now for the new Taipei Kings. 60 to 58. Ralph Ku, going cross court. Aguilar. Shot clock at seven, Amarientos again. Offline this time. A chance to tie or take the lead for the U Taipei Kings. This, they just won't go away. Down by 14 in the first, down by eight here in the third. That could have been the lead. Here's Amarientos looking away. What a pass by RJ Amarientos. Good to striking Stephen Holtz. Looked away the defense and delivered it on a Magic Johnson. Three pointer. That one is in and out. Who with the rebound? Here it comes in Ambra once again. They are starting to build some form of momentum with six and a half remaining in the third. Abarientos. Out to Isaac. Go for three. Go on. Back to a seven point lead. Isaac going out in double figures with 11. We approach the six minute mark here in the third. 65 58, Barangay Ginebra. Shot clock down to three, and uh, they get bailed out by a foul on Ralph Koo. So for Koo, that's his first and the first on Ginebra. We have new players coming in here for the Kings with Lin. Soon how and Kiwi Gardner also in there as well for Barangay Nebra. They unleash the shooter, Juan Pesumal. He's back in to replace Ralph Koo. 6 one to play here in the third. During the halftime break, the uh, Kings came out with about five minutes left on the, uh, at the halftime break. Barangay Nebra came out just in time for the third quarter. Had a bit of a shooter out there as well. Isaac Go can't get it to go. Abarientos also can't get it to go. And somehow Abarientos gets the rebound back. Looks like he was in, he stepped out of bounds. Erased Kiwi Gardner from the equation that time. So there was no foul call. Abarientos was just caught stepping out of bounds. Five and 43 remaining in the third. Can the Kings pull off another comeback? Remember that he never was already up by eight points after a personal eight to nothing or ten to nothing run by Abariantos. That is rejected by Aguilar. Shot by Lin had no chance. Go to the side, Pasubal. Sumal here. They're sagging on him. They're playing a 2 3 zone right now. That's not a good idea with a known shooter like Pesumal out there. Big passing once again, trying to break the zone as Aguilar will earn another trip to the free throw line. That's going to be against Chung Li Xiang, which will be his third personal foul. Oh, check that. That's the fourth throw already. Wow, that's going to be a problem. Remember, there are only 12 players on the lineup for the Lin Taipei Kings, and uh, interim coach Lin Cheng Yu has only used nine players. Might have to go a little deeper into the bench. As Chen Chun Han is going to check back in, and this will shrink the lineup of the Lin Taipei Kings. That's going to put Lin Chin Pang at center. Speaking of center, here's the tallest guy on either squad. Aguilar with a miss. That's the second miss from the free throw line. Japan with 14 in the game. He's a regular member of the Philippine national team. Did see action during the Olympic qualifiers as well. And the Philippines almost made it. They actually made it to the uh, semifinals. They came up short against Brazil. Five minutes 
minutes remaining here in the third. Gardner. Jimmy Gardner once scored 74 points when he was still playing in Saudi Arabia. Three-pointer unleashed. That's a miss coming from Lynn. Aguilar with yet another rebound. Have not, we don't have the rebound count, but I'm pretty sure John Ben Aguilar's already got a double-double. Hey, we can he never a chance. Coming from the Filipinos in attendance is Stephen Holt. Can't knock down the three. It will still be Hinebra Ball. Mark Nassimal on your screens. The shooters on the squad. Time was when Barangay Hinebra really didn't have a legitimate shooter. And Point Cardelli did know he was the best shooter, but now they brought in a bunch of them. Trying to go back door, Stephen Holt, Aguilar did not get the pass, 9 seconds on the shot clock. Abariendos, double team, RJ getting it across and that's going to be stepping out of bounds. Called on Stephen Holt. So again the turnovers, that has been the theme here for Barangay Hinebra, they're up by 8 right now. They were up by 14 but then the turnovers started becoming their problem. To the four minute mark here in the third, 66 58. Ginebra get it over to the wing. Three pointer that is good coming from Chen. Chen got you got to respect the shooting. And now another foul called. This will be on Chen. He's in trouble as well. That's his fourth. Third team foul. Jason David, Ben Adamos return for Barangay Hinebra. Placing Isaac Gore and Japet Aguilar. This is interesting because Isaac Gore is about 6'7. Japet Aguilar is about 6'9, and they're going small ball here. With hope now, I believe Ben Adamos, of course, is 6'5. He's playing center right now, but he's more known as an outside shooter, Sam Perkins type, if you will. Adamos does get it in the high post. Oh, they go inside, and Jason Duffin gets the layup to drop. Three and a half to play, 68-61, Hinebra here in the third. Gardner gets bumped, Abarientos acknowledging the foul, that's his second. And only the second team foul as well for Hinebra. But okay, Hinebra has not been in the penalty in any quarter in this game so far. That nullifies that shot. 14 to shoot, and make that 16 to shoot. Here's Shu. Trying to make a Barrientos dance. Shot clock now at 5 once again for the Kings. They go deep into this quick release. Three-pointer. Oh, that one rolls in! That's a three-pointer from Chen Chen Nan. Down to a four-point lead with three minutes to go here in the third. Barrientos getting a lot of burn, seeing no relief so far here in the third. So with Stephen Holt. Adamos, three on the shot clock for Ben. They need to get this one off and they will not. That's going to be a shot clock violation. Not quite sure if they were aware of how much time was remaining on the shot clock when they ran that little two-man game. 68 to 64, Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. Led by five at the end of the first, led by two at the end of the second. Now lead by four. Chu Techai. Shot clock now down to six. Chu misses that one. Adamos has to bring this one down as Abariato finally picks it up at midcourt. Near the two-minute mark of the third. Stephen Holt has not really looked for his offense here in the third. Marietos, four on the shot clock, three on the shot clock, step back, that's way off, and we have a whistle to halt play with 1.6 on the shot clock. That's gonna go against the Kings. 
I think the penalty was at their fourth foul. That's only their fourth. And the uh, stadium announcer said it was their in the penalty, but that's just their fourth. They will be in the penalty on the next foul. Less than two minutes remaining in the third. 68-64, Barangay Hinebra. Quick inbound inside, almost taken away. And they will call Stephen Holt for steps. With that, a timeout is called by Coach Tim Cole, Barangay Hinebra, San Miguel. 68, the new Type A Kings, 64. We'll be right back. Finals of the recent uh, Philippine Cup and the PBA. But now with these new acquisitions, let's see if they make headway uh, coming up into the uh, season that starts in August in the Philippines. Gardner getting it out. Shot clock at 10 and a whistle before the shot. Oh, they make it! So they will get credit to the basket. It appeared the official first signal that was on the ground. There's the grab by Pesumal. They give a continuation. That is Lin Tzu Hao. Getting the end one opportunity as L.A. Tenorio comes back into the game for Barangay Neva San Miguel. A chance to get it down to one once again. 68-66 after the missed free throw. Pressure once again, being applied by the Kings, and it looks like David was quite surprised at this. And ends up throwing the ball away for yet another Hinebra turnover. He never led by as much as eight here in the third. But the Kings are pesky. Men. Straight away! Rebound to mid. Tenorio wants to restore some form of order in the offense for Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. As we come up on a minute remaining in the third, Stephen Holt on the give and go. Lost control of the ball for the moment. Tenorio! And he made the shot, but stepped out of bounds. And I did a survey of the court earlier. The sidelines where the three pointers are, it's quite small as opposed to what we're used to. And I'm sure Tenorio is used to knocking down those wing threes. I was also quite surprised he was called for a stepping violation, stepping out of bounds. Chance to tie and take the lead once again for the new Taipei Kings, Kiwi Gardner. Out of the Midland College. And it's gonna be a delayed call, but the correct call as Stephen Holt reached in. Now for Holt, he's the first Inebra player with three fouls. Got two players from Taipei. Chen Chun Nan and Chung Li Shan both have four fouls. And it looks like uh, there could be a wound here for uh, Stephen Holt. Need to stop the bleeding for the game to continue. It's on his hand that appears. So Holt is going to have to be replaced. Now sometimes when you go for a steal, you do inadvertently scratch the opponent. So there is blood coming out of the left hand of Stephen Holt. So Isaac Gore is going to return for Barangay Ginebra. Baseline inbound now for the new Type A Kings. 37 seconds remaining here in the third. Lin. Getting it inside. And Lin Chin Tai is stripped. So he never now giving Taipei and those of their own medicine as there's a four second differential between the clocks. The vid looking for a friend. Porta Sumal. Trying to go back door. Jason Davila can't get it to go. Ben Adamos on the reverse. Can't get it to go, but that's going to be a foul called. 
We do hear a fire alarm, by the way, in the building right now. Just to let you know what's happening, there's a fire alarm that just went off. I don't know if you can hear that. The fire alarm has stopped. So if, uh, members of the audience were a little concerned for a few moments, and the fire alarm did go off. Here at our venue at the Tap Sayak Sports Pavilion. This is just walking distance from the hotel of both teams. Literally about 20 steps away from the hotel. At the Royal Hotel here in Macau. And uh, one of our organizers, uh, Mr. Joe Kim Lobo, said that that hotel makes so much money because this place is known for events here in Macau. Both teams have billeted it there. Oh, Adamos is usually steady at the free throw line, missing both. A chance now to tire take the lead before the end of the third, and that is going to count. Coming from Chen Chung Nan, erasing what was an eight-point lead for Barangay Hinebra in the third quarter and tying the score up at 68, heading into the fourth quarter. What an effort to just stick around for the new Taipei Kings. As we see it once again, some of the highlights here in this third quarter. We will have the fourth quarter when we return. Stay with us here in our continuing coverage of the Macau Blues International Club Challenge. So the question is, does the, do the new Taipei Kings have a finishing kick after rallying back so many times from big deficits? They open with a three-pointer, that's going to be short coming from Chen Yu Che. As we mentioned, one of the seven players who saw action in the East Asia Super League where they finished fourth. Of course, they did not have Jeremy Lin in their lineup. He was injured during the playoffs as Ben Adamas overshoots a short stack. Shot clock did not reset for Hinebra, and they turn it over anyway as Kiwi Gardner is going to break away from the layup. The Kings have the lead once again. Denorio Howland, he's still in the backcourt, and that's an eight-second violation. Nobody helping L.A. Denorio get the ball across. As the Aguilars come in now for Barangay Hinebra. Javin Aguilar is back. He is already with 15 points, and Raymond Aguilar, our forward out of the National University in the Philippines, seeing his first action of the game as Coach Tim Cole now looks for a combination to try and bail him out of this predicament. Again, just underway here in the fourth. We are playing 12-minute periods, but everything else is practically feeble rolls. Oh, three-pointer drops for Shu Tim Shi. That is his fourth three in the game. And he's got 17 points. Second leading score of the squad behind the Chen Chun Nan, who's got 20. Shot clock now at 9, Pesumao, that's out of his comfort zone when he drives, it's taken away. And a fast break, and no rim protection or no chase down that time from Jason Devan, and Tim Coney is upset. 75-68, biggest lead of the game for the new Taipei Kings, timeout, he never... That was an errant pass that turned into a layup from Kiwi Gardner. And of course, earlier, another turnover for another fast break basket for the Kings. Good game. He wants to come back from this seven point deficit. 
68. But Paul Garcia back in the game, almost turned it over once again. Abarrientos back in, so immediately Tenorio goes back to the bench. Coach Tim is going to let the young kids in there. With the exception of Captain Aguilar, the 37-year-old veteran. Five on the shot clock. Garcia, nowhere to go. Great defense being played here by the Kings. And Holt let it go, but it's going to be a shot clock violation. And again, you have to credit the defense of the new Taipei Kings. They are doing the defense on the ground. They are very, very undersized compared to Barangay Ginebra. But their defense has really stopped the offense. No quality look that time for Hinebra. And this is coming off a timeout by Coach Tim Gold. They did not score. Floater, Aguilar with his third block of the game. Exactly 14 to shoot though. As Xu Te Chu is going to trigger it in for the Kings. Coming off two screens. Chen. Spin move in the lane. That doesn't drop in. He never with an opportunity. On the fast break now for Larger Abarientos. Going cross court. Garcia. Javier Aguilar dishes it into Garcia. Kiwi Gardner is there for Kiwi. That's going to be his second. First team foul for the new Taipei Kings here in the fourth. Turning to the game now, Lin Chin Pan. He's got six points in this game. For Barangay Nebra, Barrientos leading the way with 17 so far. Stephen Holt still stuck at 14. Here's Japet Aguilar. There are two Aguilars on the floor for Barangay Nebra. Japet again manufactures free throws. That's going to be number two on Lin Chin Pan. Check that, that is number three on Lynch and Pan. So lots of uh, foul trouble or players beleaguered with fouls on the side of the Taipei Kings. We have Chen and Chung, they both have four. Shu, Lin, talking about Lynch and Pan and Kiwi Gardner, they have three apiece. Japet makes both free throws, now tied for Team High Honors with 17. 75-70 for the new Taipei Kings. Just uh, on the way here in the fourth, actually with a little over nine minutes remaining, we are playing 12 minute quarters. Shot clock at seven. Jump shot in and out, Aguilar with his 10,000th rebound. Nine minutes. Garcia surveying. Garcia picked up his dribble, almost trapped himself into the corner. Aguilar's got five to shoot. Jump it to Raymond for three. In and out. Gardner's got it. Secondary break in the offing right now for the new Taipei Kings. He do get the shot off as Raymond Aguilar corrals the rebound. Anything positive, and Raymond Aguilar is a, is a crowd favorite, a fan favorite in the Philippines, the Filipino crowd getting a kick out of that, but Stephen Holt just can't buy anything here in the second half. Stuck at 14 points. Gardner using the pick provided by Chung. And again, Chapin Aguilar is there. Gardner bothered by Jason David. Kings are going to shuffle it up here. We're going to see Supi, Kai come back in, and the new Taipei Kings are going to talk it over. Sports Pavilion in Macau. This is the Macau Wu's International Basketball Club Challenge. A preseason tester for these two squads as Paul Garcia in transition shows us his range. The former Southbury University Seagull. Cutting it down to two. 75, 73. 10 on the shot clock. Almost a turnover. Recovered, but the shot clock is winding down. Four to shoot. Three-pointer answered by Lynch and Pine. 
Bang now with nine, back to a five point lead for the Kings of New Taipei. 78 to 73. Here's Raymond Aguilar working the left side. Posting up against Lin Chin Pang. Aguilar on the spin. Jump and Aguilar taps it in. Jump and Aguilar now with 19. We're at team high score for Barangay Ginebra. National team member for Gilas Filipinas as well. Supe Kai. Finds an opening, but then gets intimidated by Jabin Aguilar, and he's going to be called for a traveling violation. If Jabin Aguilar is not blocking shots, he is intimidating would-be shooters. Get all that at the age of 37. Raymond Aguilar, momentarily open, hesitated. Six and 40 remaining in the fourth. Amarietas now with six on the shot clock. Getting it over to Garcia, moves in closer, baseline, jumper is good! Five straight points for Paul Garcia for Andrei And it's down to one, fast break, went alive that time, good defense by Stephen Holt. Here comes Amarientos, Garcia open again, Garcia comes up short this time. New type A Kings is throwing away. And Amarientos now, slowing things down. Hinebra down by only one, and here comes the chance of Hinebra from the pro Philippine crowd here at the Tap CX Sports Pavilion in Macau. Amarientos, offline. Less than six minutes to go in regulation. 78, New Taipei Kings. 77, Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. Supe Kai. Oh, nice pass inside. The Kai has been orchestrating like a maestro for the New Taipei Kings. 80, 77. Holt has yet to assert himself. Finally takes that deuce, it's a long two. So just a twitter. Runner not there. 80-79. With five minutes remaining. Abarientos. Can't lose his defender. Aguilar to Aguilar on the high low jump and Aguilar gets it to go. And the new Taipei Kings have lost their lead. 81 in Ebra, 80 new Taipei Kings. Timeout, Lin Cheng Yu. Look at this high low action between the two Aguilars of Barangay Hinebra. Raymond Aguilar might just be the spark plug that Tim Cohn is looking for to end this game on a high note. Missing the services of Scotty Thompson, who is here, but not in uniform. Justin Brownlee, of course, the resident import, is in Indonesia at the moment. Opening spotted, and foul is going to be called here. Looks like Paul Garcia is going to be whistled for it. That's just the first team foul for Hinebra. Burst of speed for the very aggressive Shu Te Chi, who's already got 17 in the game. And awarded with two free throws. So Shu Te Chi is not, is not part of the EASL lineup for the Kings. At the rate he's going, he's a shoo to be named to that lineup. Of course, the uh, head coach of the new Taipei Kings is also not here. Baba Ryan Marchand. So it is interim coach Lin Cheng Yu is calling the shots and he has been doing very well in the absence of Ryan Marchand. 82, 81. Lead back to the Kings in the seesaw affair now here in the fourth. Ball was open momentarily, has come back into the game to replace Raymond Aguilar. 
Here's Jason David using the big body of Isaac Gore. Jabbing it on the forward. That rolls out. Isaac Gore with the offensive rebound. Misses the stick back, but Chapman is there to clean it up. Aguilar now with 23. He never now up by one, 83 to 82. Under four minutes remaining, and a nice drive by Lin Tzu Hao. Now up to 12 points. He goes back now to the new Taipei Kings. Shot clock at 10 now. The vet getting a lot of burn here. And the four, three-pointer. That one is short once again. Coming from Paul Garcia. He hit a big one earlier. Actually had five points in a row. But has missed his last three shots. A series of screens trying to free up Min Tzu Hao. Zipping it inside. Good intention by Lin to try and get it to Chung. But the pass was a little too hot. Oh, Raymond Aguilar is getting the call once again from Coach Tim Cook, and he never faithful. Applauding the re-entry of Raymond Aguilar as he replaces Japan Aguilar. He never now going small. Isaac Gaw is going to be playing center. 3 and 15 to play in regulation. New Type A Kings 84. But on guy he never said Miguel 83. Garcia. Isaac Gold, a skip pass now to Raymond Aguilar. Stephen Holt into Raymond. Hesitated for a moment, two seconds on the shot clock, and Stephen Holt with a scoop shot to give he never the lead once again, 85 to 84. We are heading to the twilight zone. As a famous sportscaster in the Philippines once said, jumper. Is a miss coming from Shu Techi. Raymond Aguilar clears it for Hinebra. Two and a half to play in regulation. Abarientos has not looked for his offense. He has been facilitating very well. Aguilar finally puts it on the floor, but now they have eight seconds to shoot. Stephen Holt out to RJ who puts it up. Three pointer good for RJ Abarientos. His fourth in the game. He never now up by four, 88 to 84, with two minutes remaining in the fourth. Su Te Chi, Chung Li Xiang. Taipei Kings need a basket. And there is a delayed call for an offensive foul. And that is going to be it for Chen Chu Han. That's his fifth. is to see how well the new pieces fit. Stephen Holt is one of them. RJ Abarientos is one of them. Isaac Go is also on the floor is one of them. Tim Cohn testing his youngsters just to see how they gel here and try to provide the finishing kick for Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. Shot block now down to nine. Abarientos against Gardner. RJ zips it over to Holt and he is fouled on the ground. That will just be the fourth team foul though for the new type A Kings. And they will risk being on defense and bringing back Chen Chun Nan, their leading scorer. Remember, they are on defense. Shot clock was reset to 14. Japan Aguilar, 23 in the game. He's got a game high score. Abariantos, seven to shoot. RJ! Not this time. Rebound picked up by Chung Li Shang. Taipei Kings want to rush it. They're down by two possessions. Shu getting it over and getting it back. Nine to shoot now for Shu. They get it out. Three pointer on its way and good. Lin Chin Pei with a top of the key triple to make it a one point lead. For Barangay in San Miguel, 88 to 87. 43 seconds to go. Aguilar handing it over to Garcia, who gets it to go, plus the foul. But Paul Garcia 
struggled offensively in the first half and now comes in got seven points in the game does not restore two possession lead but again only gets the offensive rebound and there lies the height difference where the Filipinos have the advantage over the Taiwanese players. Abarientos one of the shot clock. Comes up empty and that's going to be a shot clock violation. And Abarientos just signaling to Tim Cohn, I'm sorry coach, I was not aware of the shot clock. With 19.3 seconds remaining, coach Lin Cheng Yu is going to call his final timeout and advance the ball to, to the front court. Take a look at this confident stroke coming from Lin Chin Pang to cut the lead down to one. Shu Te Chu will throw it in. He runs some screens in the baseline. Three pointer offline. And the rebound picked up by Stephen Holt. And with 11 seconds remaining, Kiwi Gardner applies the takedown. But then hugs Stephen Holt. Holt now will be tested at the free throw line with 11.2 seconds remaining. For Gardner, that's his fourth. That is two free throws, yep. They worked 14 fouls for a while already. So Stephen Holt, 18 points in the game, but only four points here in the second half. As we mentioned earlier, the former number one overall pick by Jenna Firma in the 2023 PBA draft. Acquired recently in the trade that sent Christian Stan Hardinger, another former number one pick in the PBA. The Jenna Firma in exchange for three gentlemen on the floor right now for Barangay Nebra. Split though, but it's still a two possession lead. They need a quick three. Taipei, do they get it? Almost! Jonathan Aguilar clears it and that's going to be the ball game. Barangay Hindeva San Miguel surviving the new Taipei Kings with a score of 91 to 87 and the final. Boy, that was a scare for Barangay Hindeva. But again, the summary of this game he never ran off with a big lead at the early goings, up by 14. It was close at the end of the first. They were only down by five at the half. He never was up by two points. Aparientos gave them uh, an eight-point lead, but then the new Taipei Kings even led by as much as seven points in the fourth quarter. But Coach Tim Cohn stuck to his youngsters. And they were able to bail them out. So once again, 91, 87, the final, the victory to Barangay Hinebra San Miguel over the new Taipei Kings here at the Taxayac Sports Pavilion in Macau. Thank you for joining us for continuing coverage of the Macau Rules International Basketball Club Challenge. My name is the Rosada. It is good night from Macau.